there and welcome to the Bicycle Diaries and you join me today on an absolutely wonderful day in the New Forest. Today I'm riding with a chap called Philip who's a viewer of the channel and very kindly invited me over to show me some of his routes. Welcome to the New Forest. We are just to the west of Southampton and about an hour from where I live. And as you can see, it's absolutely stunning. It's a very old forest. It's about a thousand years old. And as you can see, it's, it's quite sort of, it's got its sort of heathlands, it's got its woods and dotted around here, there and everywhere are the wild New Forest ponies. Absolutely beautiful. Roads are brilliant, not a lot of traffic. It's an absolutely wonderful place to ride a bike. I really don't know why I'm not here all the time. The last time I was here was probably two years ago. I was staying at one of the local pubs and a friend of mine and I had a ride out to couple of the little villages um, and I think that's kind of the plan today we'll be cycling around having a look at a few things and I'll probably get to Philip to point out a couple of things as well Leonard where we are now is Beauty Road station and just over here are the uh, stockades where horses are bought um, these are the commoners horses that are bought sort of between September and November each year they check the condition of the horses and there are auctions here as you can see the weather today is absolutely stunning according to my Karoo it's 22 degrees Celsius and that's why the hell of a change from what it's been uh, as you probably saw on a, on a few of the previous vlogs it's been cold wet grey and very very miserable and today everything's changed so Leonard the hill behind us is called Bolton's Bench just outside Lyndhurst. Uh, local folklore is that there's a dragon buried under it. Uh, we told that story to our five-year-old granddaughter and she didn't sleep for a week afterwards. So Leonard, we're at the uh, Ferrari garage in Lindhurst. Um, in Italy they bought in a supercar tax and when they bought that in their sales dropped. So this one Ferrari garage here in Lindhurst sells more Ferraris than the whole of Italy. Uh, they just didn't have one in my colour. Just riding through one of the more wooded areas now and uh, like most of the uh, the new forest this is all ancient oak woodland uh, and uh, it was once upon a time 
the hunting grounds of, uh, of the royal families and I'm talking you know again about a thousand years ago and to this day there are deer and things like wild boar roaming these woods For the most part I would say the new forest is pretty flat so it's a really great place to cycle but there are some hills if you want some and some of them are quite steep. That one that uh, I've just ridden up there wasn't one of those, that was one of these false flats. You're riding along thinking oh this is a bit hard I wonder why and you look down and it's four percent and you think ah that's why. Well that was quite surprising. Short sharp little climb there. Eight nine percent for about 700 meters. Philip informed me that was the worst climb on the route though. Just ridden through a little patch of redwoods there not giant ones but pretty big ones all the same I imagine that's what it must be like in that famous forest in California I think it is as we were riding through I just cannot tell you how amazing the smell was it was just kind of an absolutely beautiful smell of the forest Leonard, I mentioned earlier that uh, lots of uh, foreign uh, servicemen were based here in the New Forest prior to the D-Day landings and this is a memorial to the Canadians um, it's actually the third Canadian division were based here and uh, they stormed Juneau Beach and sadly 14 soldiers were killed during that storming on the first day and many more after that we are now heading for something called Ornamental Drive. I've heard about it, but I've never actually been down there either on a bike or on a car. And hopefully it's uh, exactly as the name describes. Well, that's all the mental drive that's absolutely stunning again the smell of the trees like the pine trees and the redwoods it was just absolutely amazing us 35 kilometers in and we've just passed through the town of Brockenhurst which is one of the big uh, towns here in the New Forest although 
it's the new forest it's not going to be that big and my understanding now is that we are heading for Bewley one of the slight disadvantages of riding here in the new forest are all the cattle grids and obviously they're designed to keep the cattle out but keep the traffic flowing basically they are grids of horizontal metal with gaps in that are quite big going over them on a bike isn't too bad if you keep a straight line but as soon as you deviate it could be pretty nasty so it takes quite a nerve and uh, quite a lot of wits about you that we've just gone up there out of Brockenhurst Phillips just told me that it's on Strava it's called the Scorpion for obvious reasons the great things about the new forest though is how quickly all of the landscape changes literally go around the corner and you go from dense woodlands to open heathlands it's like you're miles and miles away Well here we are in the lovely village of Bewley which is very famous for the motor museum which is kind of behind me and it's also the place where there are just loads and loads of donkeys I absolutely love donkeys sweetest creatures in the world Well that's cheerio to the donkeys and uh, we've got another big hill to come 11% apparently but uh, we'll just take it nice and easy well that's Bewley Hill conquered pretty easy really there we go that's today's ride we've ended it down here at Hive Pier um, and as you can see the weather's absolutely fantastic 53 kilometers in the bank of fitness absolutely cracking day out on the bike in the new forest thanks to Philip for inviting me it's a great ride wasn't it yeah really good yeah very good indeed look yeah. forward to doing it again fingers crossed yeah. <laughs> all right. right thanks for watching